Welcome back, everyone. Peter Dima and Kevin Brown have a new 5 liter V12 in the works, and we wanted to show everyone some of the initial steps on how the components are actually welded together by expert welder Eric Hartop. Pete and Kevin have high aspirations that their new V12 will produce over 2.5 horsepower per cubic inch and make between 750 and 800 horsepower with capabilities of turning up to 12,000 RPM. Pete and Kevin have designed and built over 100 prototype engines and don't mind sharing their knowledge when it comes to making horsepower. So listen in folks, Pete Ardema is gonna explain how these components actually are gonna come together and be prepped for welding by expert welder, Eric Carter. To the crankcase. Okay. All, right. All through here. And then we're gonna bolt the other one on it. And he's gonna weld the two together. You know, this one will get welded to the crankcase here, and then that one gets welded to this one. Okay. And then he'll weld the ends on. And that's about it. Just like you did in the, the two yeah, meter. Just like on the other one. This, this gets welded on here. Okay. Right here. And then you're going to send it out, then you get it heat treated after that? Right. right. heat treated. And then after it's heat treated, then it's line bored. And then we machine everything. We'll bore the holes for the sleeves, the head bolts, the, the crank, everything. Machine it back square. Okay. It's true that we get it. And then you have to have a crank made. Yeah, the crank's being made now. Oh, it is being made. Okay. And this is five liters of displacement? Right. And are, is, are you, what type of improvements are you doing on this based on the existing 5.9 liter? We're just cleaning up a little bit. We put these legs in here, these little feet. Uh-huh. Uh, on the old, on the other one, on the six liter, it collapsed. <laughs> It collapsed this top just a little bit when we tightened the head down. All right. The sleeve stayed up, and this went, this got crushed just a little bit where the head bolts are. So you just reinforced it in there? So what we did, we put these crutches, legs, whatever you want to call them, in there. So it can't, yeah, can't squash. It can't squash it down. Aurora. This is here. This. This takes a Chevy timing chain from the crank to an idler here, and then we run the belts from here to okay. each side. And we're going to chain on this one. We're going to put an idler on each side of the belt, so we'll be able to adjust these. By moving these two idlers to the left, uh -huh. we pull the cams ahead. We advance the cams. And by doing it the other way, we retard the cam. So we can do this on a dyno just by loosening these these idlers. And playing with cam timing? And play with cam timing without playing with those five bolts on each cam and trying to get it just perfect. This first step is crucial as Eric determines the correct parameters based on the thickness of the material as he lays down the initial tack welds. Well, see how that was cracking a lot? This was spraying a lot. That got down in there. This did not. So I'm trying to find the happy medium. It is determined that the block components will need to be preheated to achieve optimal weld and ensure that the integrity of the engine block is not compromised. I'm sorry. Very little crackle in the beginning. Beautiful. Nope. That's not beautiful? Nope. Son of a bitch. But at the beginning, there was no crackle. I think 
think it's because there's a gap in it. You don't see that crack? It's coming out. So what happens if you look here, you can see through. See oh, those just, spots. Yeah. It's, that's where the cylinder right. is. I probably, like I said, shouldn't have cut that hole in it. Huh. What happens? Oh, I see it. Yeah, pulls what happens? In it pulls in. in and it wants to pull back to where, where it was. Yeah. But maybe I should have left it solid. That's a solid foundation. That's pretty nice to me. It's really nice. More crackings? Nope. Does this one fit now? Uh, no, I'm gonna just give it a little. Oh, you're gonna do this? Just a little touch up like I did over here. If I dig down in, in here just a hair, it's not kind of No. So there's. You happy with that, Pete? Yeah. MIG, that's nice, isn't it? It is. It would take you all day to do a MIG and key. It does with like uh Eric definitely knows what he's doing, huh? Amazing. Oh really? It's still it's still it's still 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 so we're still gonna be over a half inch away from the well. That doesn't matter. This end, for some reason, is a little bit tighter. Well, because we cut it with a, band, a table saw. Uh... That's it for now. Soon we will prepare the next video showing the progress of the new V12, which will include the revealing of the custom crankshaft, cylinder heads, and roughing in the camshafts. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the progress of this one-of-a-kind, very special engine build.